my humble pranams at the lotus feet of my beloved Swami. I want to narrate some of the miracles that happened in my life. I already told you that we were in a place called Kurba in Madhya Pradesh, where I was conducting regular bhajans. Once I wanted to do a longer bhajan for one and a half hours due to Vinaya Chaturthi celebrations. That time, uh, the other gentleman, Mr. Karvade, he being a Maharashtrian, he went away to Maharashtra for the celebration. And the other person also, they also went away to their hometowns. So I was a known lady to sing. Anyway, uh, so I had to sing. My younger daughter, Samyukta, and my husband, they had to follow. That's all. We arranged everything. And other people who joined in the um, bhajan, they were already uh, were invited by somebody else to attend Vinaya Charity Puja and dinner in their house. So naturally, they have to oblige. They had been there already. So I was in a fix. I didn't know what to do because my husband was not a very good singer. Anyway, he told me, anyway, you follow something. We three of us sat. I prayed to Swami. I started the bhajan. Within 10 minutes, lot of uh, the majira, everything, flute, so many noises were coming. I was thinking, well, but my habit was, I never used to turn back once I start the bhajan. It went on for one and a half hours. Beautifully, they were following. It was a very beautiful end. Then after I finished Om Jai Jai Shagri, I came out. I saw at least 40, 50 people were standing there. Then I asked them, then they said, Benji, and they say, Bhajan was very nice. I said, uh, all of you are here. I have never met you. Who are all? They said, we are all Bhagavan Satisai's devotees from Andhra Pradesh. We have come here on an official work. So today being uh, Vinay Sadurti, we wanted to attend Bhagavan's Bhajan. So in the market, we went to one Mr. Agarwal's shop. We asked him. They said, one Mr. Natarajan is there. In his house, Bhajans are being conducted. You can go. He gave me that address, so we came. They came in about 10, 15 rickshaws. Okay. Then I said, then said, we are very happy. I said, would you like to have dinner in our house? They said, no, no, we are very, very happy. They took the dibhuti and did them and they went away. That was a Thursday and we were also very happy. Because Bhajan was so nice. And then, <laughs> as usual, Sunday, I went to the market area, went to Mr. Agarwal's shop. I went and Mr. Agarwal, Namaste ji, ha, namaste madam. I said, aapko daniwa dene ke liye maya hai. I have come to thank you. Why do you want to thank me? He asked me in Hindi. I said, uh, that day you sent so many people uh, from Andhra Pradesh to attend bhajan in our house, you know. They came, it was a very successful event. So I came to thank you. He said, no, 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 no. I never sent anybody to your house. I don't even know that there is a bhajan in your house. <laughs> and then, as usual, next week I came to Puttapati. I was in the darshan line. Swami came straight in. He asked me, Oh, Bhajan was very nice. So, I said, so many people had come, you know. I said, Swami, you sent them, you know. He said, Yes. Then said, Swami, that's your grace. Uh, yes, my grace is always with you. And Namaskara Chesko. He said, Took Namaskara. He said, Be happy. Continue Bhajan like this. I said, Ha, Swami, definitely. Then we were transferred to a place called Vishrampur in Surguja district in Madhya Pradesh. After going to Vishrampur, I wanted to do some something for the children. I, there was no school also. One school was there. Children were going here and there as usual. And then I took the Chinnakatha book. Then I asked Swami, uh, what about my uh, giving uh, tuition for these children about this uh, Balavikas? He said, no, you give them... Daily discipline, that's enough. Because he never allowed me to work for anything. Neither in the Samiti or Balavakas, anything. I don't know. He never allowed me even today. Only he is giving bhajans. I have to do only. He, that also he told me later on. Why? And then, okay, took Chinnakatha book. And the children used to come. I used to give them only discipline. Because they were very unruly. So many young boys were there. The moment you come back from school, don't shout out to your mother. Don't cry. Don't weep. So put your chapel somewhere. Keep your books somewhere, wash your feet, feet and hand, go and ask your mother, Amma, give me some tiffin. You should be very polite to your mother. Mata, Pita, Guru, Deva, understand, uh, Auntie Ji, TK, we will do that. 
like that all the boys became very very perfect so the mothers are wondering how come within a very short period these boys and girls are behaving very properly then they ask how is it your your rowdyism has gone away then the boys said the boys and girls said that natraj and auntie they have uh, she taught us to behave like this he said well, we are very happy we want to meet uh, that lady they said uh, auntie ji uh, our mothers want to meet you can you why not ask ask your mothers to come and meet me i am very happy to meet them the next day uh, six seven ladies came they said we are so and so so and so so and so i said please come your boys have told me they said you are very happy because of your advice our sons and daughters have become very very perfect they are behaving very normally is it is it is it is i said it's our swami's teachings he wants children to behave like that i am very happy then uh, they said uh, madam can we come to your house for bhajan i said why not please come i will be very happy i want people for bhajan i am very happy then they also started coming for bhajans so the crowd swelled up after some time i came to puttaparthi i said uh, Uh, then I said, Swami, I want to do Lakshmana. He said, Yes, do it, do Lakshmana. So I I told them how to do on Om Sri Sai Ram. I was the chief priest, parish priest. I told them after one lakh and one thousand, I will say, Bhagwan Sri Sathya Sai Baba ki jai. Then that is over. Then we will take Arthi. Then they said, uh, uh, when I counted, there were seventy-five people. For seventy-five people, they said, No, we also want to bring some prasad for that day. I said, okay, whatever you want, only seven, eight items. As pur, I said, puri, I will make in the house. We will give them hot, hot puris and sabji and all, and rava sabji I will make. And one lady wanted to bring uh, uh, this uh, vada, another lady something like this. So many items were there. I said yes. Then this because only seventy-five people are there, including the driver and the domestic help and everybody. You can bring seventy. Seventy pakora, seventy some. That's enough. Otherwise, it will be a waste. They said, "Okay." They brought, kept it in that backyard veranda, covered it. Then I told my help Sakara, "Abhi to seventy-five people are here. While before I finish, he knew when I used finish. Go and count from the window how many people are there. Write it in a sheet and throw it in the pujaro." He wrote hundred and seventy-five people. I looked at him. That's all. I lost. I was in tears. Okay, I finished Om Jai Jagadish Kare. I said, Swami, I don't know what to do. It will be a disgrace. I asked them to eat, but if seventy people will have, will they eat food? So I do not know what to do, Swami. What to do, Swami? And then immediately went out. I gave all of them small spoons only. He served only like this because there are so many items. Then Swami, please save me. Please save me. Please save me. Like that, we were praying then. i heard when swami was very young he used to sprinkle coconut water i broke one coconut swami i am not doing you are sprinkling water it's not my hand it's your hands working through my hand i sprinkled water, coconut water and all the eatables came and said and was only uttering swami please save me please save me please save me and that was my japam after 5 minutes my husband came and i went he took this rava sajji had this much I am saying again, it is growing. I looked at it. Then I quickly, I went, brought big, big uh, spoons, bigger ones. I am serving this. And then that lady who was giving a vada, she she beckoned me. I went. She gave one vada. Vada became. She said, I said, okay. I gave her you two, three <laughs> to everybody. And then came. I was thanking Swami and sitting. So poor he caught up. They ate. All of them ate very well. And then 175 people ate that day, and then I thanked all of them. Uh, all of you have brought prasadam. You see, uh, it multiplied also, and that's itself Swami's grace. Then they are all appreciating the food, the taste. So that is also Swami's grace, you know. Then, okay. then they were all very happy. Then I told them they were all. We were talking only about the miracle. Then. Uh, Uh, how is it happen? I said I do not know. I was praying very hard to Swami, and I sprinkled the coconut water, which Swami used to do in his English. Then I said, please, so much food is there. Please, all of you bring a tiffin carrier and take it for night also. They brought tiffin carrier, full they took. All of them ate so well. Then next week I came to thank Swami. <laughs> I came. I was sitting. Hmm. Swami came. Swami, ah. 
food was very tasty. So I mean, your grace. Otherwise, it would have been a disgrace. Huh? I saved you. Your grace saved me fr from my disgrace. Huh? Other than Swami's grace. He that is Swami, Swami's grace to you. Then we were there for three, three and a half years. People used to come for bhajan. And then Swami said, give only tirtam, no prasadam. In, um, and afterwards, people started giving prasadam and all the bhajans. That in those days, it was only vibhuti and prasadam only. Swami gave, Maitri gave me some vibhuti. I took vibhuti packet and mixed it up. I used to give them. Give only vibhuti and take them, nothing else, he said to Swami. Then uh, I went. There was one person working as a foreman uh, in that coal field. His wife was very sick. She couldn't get up from bed. One Miss, Mr. Hun, Mrs. Handa. Her name was Mrs. Handa. So uh, they were telling her, Mrs. Handa is very sick, but I do not know whether they believe Bhagavan. I said, what is there? She's, uh, belief is nothing there. We can pray for her. We'll pray for her. Okay. Then somehow Mr. Handa ended up in their budget. He said, if you go to Puttaparthi, please ask for my wife. I said, yes, I will ask for your wife. Don't worry. Anyway, give this tirtam and vibhuti. Tell your wife, this is the medicine for her. She can mix up this vibhuti with this tirtam and she can drink it thrice a day. She will be all right. Don't worry. She will be perfectly all right. When I go to Puttaparthi also, uh, you can write a letter to me and then I, that also I will give to Bhagavan. After three days, people were telling, why did you give it to him? He's, he's, for everything he will get annoyed, he will fight like anything. He's very short-tempered. I said, what will he do with me? Let him be, no, no, anyway. I said, no, no, it's all right, Swami will take care. After three days, my husband was uh, away uh, somewhere. I was sitting in the veranda. I saw him coming. He, he was walking very fast. I thought he was coming to beat me. He came. I looked, he came and just fell at my feet. I said, I got up. I said, what are you doing? I asked him in Hindi, why are you falling at me? He said, how can I thank you? I said, what happened? My wife is sitting in the cot. She was bedridden. He said, ah, what you told, no? Mix it up with the uh, tirtam, the vibhuti that I gave for three days. The, today is the third day she is sitting. I said, pray to Bhagavan Sati Sai Baba. It's not me. He, he is helping. He has blessed your wife. So he wants to know whether she can come to your bhajan. No need to ask permission. Anybody can come to bhajan. What is there to ask? This house belongs to Bhagavan Sati Sai Baba. It's not our house. Only because of him, I am also living. Everything goes to him. Then she started coming to bhajan. After some time, we moved to Delhi from Bishrampur. There also... Somehow it happened suddenly, so my husband couldn't take Swami's blessings. We went to Delhi. We were in defense colony. There, as usual, I started my Thursday bhajans I was doing. And then Swami was to come to Delhi. So they were uh, well, then they were distributing uh, portfolios to people to do this, that, and the thing. And bhajan, some people wanted to sing in front of Swami. So they had to go to one lady convener to sing and get her opinion, whether they can sing in front of Bhagavan, you know, naturally. So I too wanted to sing. I was lying down. I got up to go. Swami appeared. In Tamil, he asked me, He said, do you need this? Don't go. I didn't go. I had already given my name. That I will come and sing, and whether they, they, some panel of people will give numbers and all. I didn't go. He said, nah, Do you want this? So I said, I won't go. I didn't go at all. Then she rang up. I said, Somehow I couldn't come. Today, when I came from Puttaparthi, I was tired. I didn't, didn't attend. No problem. Okay. No, we, I thought we will select you. No, no, don't worry about it. I, I always sing every time. Swami is everywhere. He will be hearing. Not that one day I should sing when he comes to Delhi. It's okay. Okay. I left it off. And then other uh, people, they she distributed. They're not that lady. Other lady who was there. So many portfolios. You sit here, you stand here, do this, and voluntary work. Then bookstall came. Nobody wanted to take the bookstall. 
She asked many people, she said, we won't take. Why? Because it involves money. And I said, though I am not working for your samiti, if you permit me, I will take up the book stall. Don't worry about the money. It involves money. Five to six, don't worry about money. I can do. I am very efficient, I told her. No need for me to learn from anybody. I will do it myself. I will take up everything from Mr. Sohan Lai. I will hand over the money. I will hand over the remnant books also. You don't totally worry about me. She said, uh, she asked me in Hindi, how can I believe you? I said, if you believe me, you give me. If you don't believe, don't give me. But I can handle the job. I don't need any help from anybody. I will do it. Then she said, it involves money. I said, don't worry. I told you, no. Don't worry about money. I will do it. And somehow, I don't know what happened. They said, this lady, we are seeing very often in Puttaparati. And Swami talks to her like that. Maybe they heard. He said, TK, uh, Behanji, uh, you take up the book stall. I said, you don't interfere with me. I told her, I will arrange. I will do everything. It is my own discretion. She said, okay. Uh, the book stall was far behind the um, place where Swami used to come and give darshan. That was not Talkatara Garden. It was some other place. I don't remember. So Swami used to come in the morning. Early morning, we will go to Mr. Sohanla's place for our darshan. Swami the Darshan, and then uh, I will come to this bookstall. Bookstall was very far away from the place. So Swami used to come dir Darshan there and there and everything. But bookstall, I wanted two, three girls to help me. So there were some young girls, they said, Bhagavan Ka Darshan Chagi, Auntie Ji, we want Bhagavan's Darshan, we can't afford to go to Puttaparati. I will take you. I take them. So during when Bhagavan came, I used to send them there. Because I see Bhagavan very often down. I used to tell them, you go. And they will uh, happily. And then sometimes Bhagavan used to ask them, Kon hai? Kya naam? They were very happy. So they used to come and say, Bhagavan, aaj amko. And then tomorrow or kabhi aayega to, you take, ask Swami, can we touch your lotus feet? Take his permission, touch his feet. Don't suddenly touch. I taught them. After two, three days, again Swami came, he smiled at them. They, they asked, Bhagavan, <laughs> yeah, he said, can we touch your lotus feet, Bhagavan? Huh? Namaskar. Then they took it. So they were extremely happy. They came. What I was doing, I used to take hundred books from Mr. Sohandal. And the first book, I will not say it in the beginning, the price I will write. 15 to 20, 25 rupees. That book was said, because no need to go through everything. I have a book. 100 uh, books of the Sathya Sai speaks volume 1, something, something that right. Took from Mr. Rohan Lal. Sold out, one book. Cash received, like that. So it's very easily, in one, one second, everything will be over. I used to take a lot of cash change also with me. Whoever came, they will go there to the men's side, even next side. They will ask a book, change nahi hai. So they will come and say, come on, I'll give you change. I'll give a book, sell mine. Give them that right there. So these girls used to check that cash, keep with that. I will do everything. It went. After one week, Swami was to go. That because we are not working in the Samiti, and there were two men, uh, we were not told that Swami is giving lunch. <laughs> so those people, other people, they had to go. And this man and came to me, are you new to this place? I said, yes. Because we have never seen you, and the way you work, we have never seen a person working like this. Said, yes, I am very efficient, I told them. <laughs> and then they said, do you hear Swami is giving lunch? When? Tomorrow. He said, where? In Mr. Uh, uh, Kulwantroy's house. Hmm? So, but we were not invited. But we missed Darshan also. We were standing here. No, when I said, don't worry, we are going, I told them. He said, I said, don't worry. I will take you. That's all. Don't tell anybody. What to do? I said, don't worry. Uh, I had on watchman by name Bahadur in my house. I said, Bahadur, you sit here only. Because I locked the room, book stall. I asked them also to lock the book stall. I told him, you sit here only. Don't move out. He said, no, madam, I will not move out. Till we come, I will send you home. 
He was there. So they were happy. So I took the cash in my purse. I told them also, take their cash. Even though he was very honest, anyway, he was alone there, you know. What to do? Okay. I called my driver. The car came. We went. That other guy who was with the, uh, Mr. Mani, he was also Swami's student, ex-student. He thought I never expected uh, that he would. I said, don't worry. This is Bhagavan's wish we are going. Otherwise, you won't go. We won't even know that the Bhagavan is giving lunch. That is also only he has sent word, you know. Okay. We went and then I wanted to see a wanton position where I can see Swami. I slowly walked through that and then I saw Swami's chair and everything. I went and sat there somewhere. Like that, another row. This guy, because he was Swami's student, he knew many things. He guided me. He and Mr. Mani went and sat somewhere. Nobody noticed us, especially the ladies' group we were sitting. And then Swami was there. He came. He came slowly. He walked. He said, hey. I said, Namaskar, I took. Take Namaskar, I took. And then he said, uh, then one uh, lady was giving the plate with the left hand. Swami said, hey. Swami said, tell her. I said, hey, uh, you should not give anything in the left hand. Put the plate on the right hand, you know. And then she put it. Then Swami smiled at me. He said, nice, nicely arranged. That is what I did. Uh, he, he went and sat. I saw him in one second, he finished his lunch. Ah, this I have heard from Saganya. Swami takes only very little. So I had taken a lot of small, small plastic uh, <laughs> uh, bags in a handbag. So I never ate anything. Whatever I said, put it in one by one in that and put it in my handbag. And I was watching Swami. Swami finished everything. And then my hand was very clean. They gave water, dipped it and wiped it out and kept some four or five uh, paper, tissue papers. Swami came. Oh, very quickly, you also ate. <laughs> I said, it is in my handbag. Uh -huh. Why didn't you take? I said, no, Swami. Then he said, Swami, Inna, what? Namaskaram. Uh. He gave him scarab. When my hand was very clean, you know, I touched him. This, the uh, Swami's ex student, what he see, he was happy. At his Swami spoke to this auntie, he was happy. Swami finished everything and then uh, Swami got up. We all came away. Then I also, he said, How did he come? I said, See, this Swami's grace. Then Swami went and spoke to him also. So he was also naturally very happy. He came, we attended. And then while uh, serving, Swami came in here and asked me, you didn't invite me to your house. He told me in Tamil. I said, Swami, I went behind the badge. <laughs> uh, he kept quiet. That is a blunder, isn't it? I should have invited him. So I didn't do it. And then I, I told him, uh, I went behind the badge. Badge. He knew, you know, badge. So, uh, then I said, Swami, uh, I don't even pass. Uh, to attend your Talkatora meeting. No pass? No pass. She didn't give me. Maybe because I was not in, in the Samiti, you know. She might have given to only the members in the Samiti. That's all. And then uh, after lunch, Swami went away. We all came away. We came to the book stall. Those guys were very happy. Because of you, we had Darshan of Swami. He said, Swami looked at me and smiled at me. We saw you. You took Padanamskara also. How did you take? I said, you were eating. I didn't eat, you see. You were no, I have not eaten. It is in my purse. Okay. Then, that day was the last day. Uh, I said, um, you, men, you folk go alone to Mr. Sohanlal's house. I will go and hand over everything to you. And that evening, I took all the cash and everything, vacated that building. And then I, um, they came on their own. They said, we will go home, take the books. I too went home, counted very, very few books were left. All of mine were sold out. I counted the money at home again, wrote the notebook, took so much from Mr. Sohanlal, returned four or five books, that's all, this thing, with cash. Next morning, I went to his house. Good morning, good morning. I come to how many books uh, you sold? I said, only five books are left over. He gave it cash also. I said, you can, no need to count. It's nice. Okay. While coming back, I met Mr. Srinivasan. Uh, he was state Sevadal president. I went to his house. I had to pass his house. I went. Then he said, well, I was looking for you. I said, he said, how come? He said, Bhagavan has given you an envelope. 
he handed to he said give this to mrs natarajan swami told him so i said he said he said is given an envelope i don't know what it is bhagwan asked me to give it to you i thought i will come to your house and give you you have come since I, very nice i came home and open uh, and then while swami was uh, talking to me i told him swami uh, no pass to come to and then there are very very senior retired uh, officers from air force and army they are very very senior in yale they have crossed about 95 years they want your darshan for them also i i, I expected but uh, not even one pass was given to me so i went he sent 18 vip passes in the envelope when i opened it wow 18 one for me one for samikta one for my husband and there were three people six per day for three days isn't it a miracle then they always used to tell me uh, behan ji sister uh, we are of our old age we can't come to puttaparthi in those days puttaparthi facilities were also very less you know so we can't travel we have already we are 95 96 if bhagwan we will give a letter yeah, i will definitely give it to him and if bhagwan comes to uh, delhi please will you please arrange as though i can arrange it arrange to take us there i will try my best if bhagwan wants will definitely he will talk to you don't worry bhai saab i used to tell them in english mm. this is english you know i don't tell them then three pass how come 18 pass then i calculated three for us three days and three for them they were living in our area only defense colony i went and handed over to them i said uh, tomorrow from tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock all of you because they had their car and driver they are retired by high ranking officials retired air marshal like that come to talkatora got and come through the vip gate bring the pass with you okay. we also went this we are in the first row we were sitting swami came out na pass karcha tha thank you so much swami uh, thank you did you get the passes i said thank you so much swami we got it and those people are also here yes i know then he spoke to my husband asked samita how are you studying so ha i will give you admission in my college study well and then uh, he went there and spoke to them something they were very happy he said uh, bhagwan can we touch you he said yes he gave them namaskar and also they were very thrilled then swami came i was thrilled the first row <laughs> we ate pure three days we attended swami's uh, speech and then we came away so uh, which year this happened madam i think it is in uh, march 1978 I think Swami was there for a week. You know, every day he was giving darshan. Morning in Mrs. Owen Lal's house. After some time uh, in other place, that place name I forgot. And then Talcott Tower Gardens. It was really wonderful.